getting ready to put the plastic on the silage piles. Um, we like to cover them up just like our old pile here. This, this pile is about a year old just to keep the rain off it pretty much. There's our roll of plastic. We'll pull it over top of our silage piles. stack we've tacked these ones down I'm gonna work at it all day to uh, fully secure them down but we want to get this on before the wind gets up so we don't fly a big giant kite it's the motley crew this is Andre finally get my brothers to help me with a cattle adventure so it's nice to have some help around your quads Buying time in the bee yard. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> so we've got the plastic on the stacks now. Um, I'm putting manure around the outside and I put the manure down. Uh, kind of hanging on the plastic at the bottom so it pulls both sides down at all times and um, by doing that it keeps the plastic tight so it doesn't flap in the wind and then after it rains or snows it comes down and acts as a further weight on that manure so we don't mess around with tires or anything we just uh, weight her down with manure on the outside and the reason we put these plastic on isn't to keep the air out uh, the silage stack itself uh, seals itself. Uh, we put these on to keep the rain and the, the snow off because it's that uh, rainwater that, or the, it's the water and moisture that goes down into the stack that creates a huge, uh, like a layer of rot. So our guy that comes to build these silage stacks does a really good job. Like there isn't any pockets of of spoilage at all in this stack. This stack's uh, a year old. I don't know if you can see, but uh, up on the top layer there, there's only about three inches of rot on the top of this. So the guy that made this stack is absolutely brilliant. He, he, he packs it perfectly. So we only have like three inches of actual rot on the top. And that is what seals the stack so the air can't get into it and then this plastic this stack's been open for a month or two 